major mishap shutting down a factory that had just reopened. Tons of molten glass, almost like lava, spilling into the anchor hawking plant. Sky Fox was over the plant as firefighters responded this afternoon. Fox 28's Rob Wells is live in Lancaster tonight with the latest on this. Rob? Yolanda, that molten glass is used to make products like these food storage containers inside that plant, but all that is stopped tonight. We spoke with the fire chief who says that luckily nobody was hurt, but they say the plant will be closed for days after this major mishap. They called the lines down, uh, the tank went down, so we don't really know much other than that. Dylan Browning was one of many anchor hockey employees who just came back to work after being laid off in May. He was also one of many evacuated after emergency crews say that a rupture in one of the production tanks inside the plant sent 100 tons of 1,200 degree molten glass flowing through the building. We're going to need some fire trucks. Uh, we have a tank that just went down. Okay, what do you mean it just went down? It, it, they just told me it broke. Usually it's something bad. There's a lot of molten glass, and, and when you think of molten glass, it runs out like water. It's that hot. Archer says while some of the liquid glass was caught in a three foot holding tank, the rest overflowed onto floors. I was on one floor, and all they did was call the tanks down. Workers say that when the liquid glass cools, it turns solid, creating a mess like a similar spill in another tank six months ago. They had to jackhammer the uh, glass out to get it out once it cools down, but it'll take quite a few days for that to cool down. Fire investigators say the plant will remain closed until next Monday. It's tough news for those who work at Fairfield County's second largest employer. They just not catching a break in there. I really feel bad for the employees. There are a lot of good, hard, hard working people in there. Certainly so. Now keep in mind, less than a week ago, workers here, they actually passed a new ratified contract that would cut their pay by 7%, but would hopefully get them all back on the job after that major layoff here back in May. You'll remember that. But now after this mishap out here today, no telling when that's going to happen. We're live in Lancaster. Rob Wells, Fox 28 News.